Right, right, right. Another uh, episode of Tiny's Off Grid Clubhouse for one thing. I don't know if you can see that. The size of that. Uh, usually I drink a cup of coffee every day. And then my knee hasn't swelled for six weeks. And then I missed, missed my cup Thursday night. And then yesterday my knee swelled up 24 hours later. I'm wearing a knee brace trying to get it back down. I, uh... Hope my partner still shows up and we get a lot done. And hopefully this busted knee won't affect me too much. I, mean, I don't know how much I'll be able to help. Which is sad because I need a lot of a lot of work done. It's uh Actually, if it wasn't windy, I wouldn't even need a jacket. It's that warm. It's been getting the low 70s pretty good for March. Something third, second, I don't know. I never look at the calendar. So, yeah. So, plan days knock out that sheetrock, all them slats, uh, re cistern, all new 2x4s on that structural wall in the middle of the house. Run it down to a new sill. We get a new wall corner stud on the other wall. And maybe a floor joist, depending how it goes. And uh, I'll see you when I get over there. If you guys have any advice about the knee, I'd like to know because. Oh, here's my chicken coop I'm building. This area here will be where they live at, all the nesting box there. There's just going to be a roof over it. And then the fence for a little run, and I'll come out that end. I tried nails, it didn't work, so I'm having to switch to screws. Alright, I'll see you when I get Okay, uh, remember around here I told you I'd mow and I'd smell wild onions? Well, these look like grass, but they taste like onions. So, I don't know if that's what uh, wild onions look like grass or what. But see, they're kind of brown on the ends and they taste just like onions. So, and they're taller than the rest. Looks like I have a patch there, there, and there, and I'm gonna end up mowing around them. That's what I'm gonna do. And then, uh, see, so you can tell this is grass right here because it's thinner. See that? The stuff I think onions here is thicker. That tastes like grass there. But this over here definitely, you can tell the. That's like got a grassy thing. And this here's more got like a wild onion thing on it. So I think those are wild onions. Which is good because I want to know where they were. So I'll let them mow around them and let them grow and then harvest them all. Spring. Sis, here's grass. I think that may be onions. So, and then I got garlic growing around here somewhere too. All right, I've been here about an hour and a half. I've been picking up sticks and rocks out of the yard. I always do that. I've started on this. Looks like for some reason, I don't know. <sighs> My uh, friend won't be showing up. So I'm gonna try, I done do the screws. I'm gonna pull that off and start tearing apart that wall. Still hope against hope he comes. So we'll see. Okay, now the uh, two wall panels are off. So now it's time to go ahead and beat that wall out. As you can see, it's really rotted before I start. Right in there. So this is what we're dealing with. Come up with a solution. All right. I know what you're doing. All right, so this is what we got. Chris finally showed up with it from his channel. I've been pulling the boards off. This is only a halfway video. And we'll show it when the rest of the wall's pulled off. But we got right about up to there. So then we're pulled blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I'll... Okay. All right, folks, there it is. The wall torn out. You can see it. That's the insulation on the other side of the wall. All the studs are good, really, except for two. The rest are actually solid. We didn't know that, though. <laughs> Till we was able to get the wall out. I have a little bit of the wall to do at the top. Tear that down in a minute. And now we're going to cut notches on the floorboard and cut studs and run them down to the Seal that try to lift the seal up, and then when he leaves, I'm going to pull all the nails out of the boards. 
we're gonna replace we're gonna sister this one and this one since these are the bad ones but I'm thinking we and can these do, are solid all the way down right yeah they should that work yeah that one's solid that's solid that's that one's not, but that's a trim board. That's not a stud. Well, it's got to have so. the stud there. Which is, so we're going to do is we're going to basically sister it down. To the sill. To the sill. Then I think I'm going to come across and sister it to this Cross one. brace? Okay. I'll that work. way it'll help. Yeah. So just these two, the rest of the studs actually then, weren't rotted. Then eventually we're going to have to get up here, get up there. In the ceiling. Right here. And just put a couple screws there to help hold it. Uh, okay. That way it'll... Maybe I don't right. know. Right. Yeah, because as long as it's solid we lift it up, we'll be fine. Yeah. Well, it's... Yeah, I think we're good. I'm going to put one more down at the bottom. Oh, that's my brand new paneling and my vapor barrier, my insulation. Yeah, I got it in the middle of my, in my box in the middle. Yeah. Here, let me put my flashlight app on. No, I don't need it. I don't need it. Yeah, it ain't, that board still didn't get to the bottom of the sill over there. Oh well. Even though I cleaned it out. Yeah. That one did though, but not that one. Yeah. The sill's kind of sideways, I think is why. Dude, we're just punching right through that board. I don't look like you are. Well, what has, what has, we'll stop. Well, it's just, we're not gonna, it's what, gonna what have, was that? It's just the board. Board what? The board we're using, probably. I feel something. Is it even moving up? Yeah. Eat it, what? <laughs> So we sistered in the wall studs. We didn't have to, but we did. And then this is the new floor joist to level the floor. Yeah. It's a little bit crooked, but we could use a thin piece of. Uh, I think we can. That board up there, you see those? We could put it on the end, and that kind of level out the distance. Yeah. And th that that is attached to the new wood too, right? Yeah, it's attached here. And there. And there. Don't even Keep, get... put one more in no, that one. Nah. That's well, not half-assing it if you don't. No. It's solid, I mean, it's... And it'll be more solid once you attach the floor to it, yeah. too. Okay. Actually, you know, when we put this... I'm doing a seal under the back floor joist. Yeah. Remember, we just put two big 16-foot boards and lift the wall at once? Yeah. That might lift that up the other half, the quarter yeah, inch it needs, right? Yeah. Okay. So that might solve it when we go lift yeah. that up later on. Yeah. But, but that looks good. I mean, this, you could just leave, put the insulation in and leave it like that. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'd tear out the rest of these boards here, and put the insulation in, the vapor barrier, put the floorboards down, sheetrock, you'd never know, yep. and it'd be good. Yep. Okay. <coughs> All right, here's a wrap-up video. All right. We took, before I got here, James started, took the wall out, most of it. I came over and helped. Then what we did, we, we sistered in two boards, basically a 10-foot board, cut it in half, put it here and here, tried to, we lifted a little. We gotta fix it. We're, next time we come, we're gonna sister the board on each side of that, so far down, so far up, to make enough room to where we can re try to relift it with with two jacks. With two jacks. So it, so it won't put as much stress. Yeah. And then over fine. here, we put that board in like we was gonna do last time. We cut it, put it. I cut it, put it in. So Sistered in two boards just to help put the floor joints. So now in. they all touch the sill. 
So we're not gonna work this time. Next time we're not gonna work all this. We're basically gonna focus on the that other. That one's one. done. Besides taking those boards yeah. off, insulation, vapor bearing, yeah, sheet pretty rock. much. That's and then if it's a little bit adjusting, we can do that from outside. Yeah. It's no big deal because it'll all be tied under with a main sill yeah. under all the floor joists. Yeah, from the back side. Yeah. So. That's basically it for this time. Okay. Well, sorry for the short video again. Yeah. All right. You got something else to say? Watch for updates on my channel, The Life and Times of Chris and his RV. We got something big. Hopefully going to happen soon down at the building. Get a video put up, made and put up. Watch for the new details. We got something free that came to us. That's all I'm going to say. You got to watch and see. When do you think you'll have that up? I think uh, next I'll have it up Friday? In, maybe next Friday. Next Friday I'll work on. I'll work on the video tonight. Okay. Get it going and we'll, we'll have something going pretty quickly. Like. Next, Not work. next Friday or the week after. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. I'll see you later.